Hello guys, what do you think? Is Xi Jinping cheating on Putin? Russian media thinks he is, and that's why they decide not to cover his visit to the US at all. As a Ukrainian, I do think Xi Jinping is cheating on Putin, and Putin is cheating on Xi Jinping, because both of them are dictators and they easily betray each other. But what does it mean for the world in general and Ukraine in particular? Let's try and think on that together. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight informational war. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. I have to start this video with some bad news, which are actually not news. The fact that Almost half of the countries in this world are closer to dictatorships and authoritarian regimes than democracies. And we have to stand united because democracy is in danger at the moment. But uh, the world has to go on living and very often global leaders communicate with each other. If we think about Russia and China, we have to agree they share a lot in common. First of all, their leaders all come from communist backgrounds and to a great extent, Russia is still a communist country. They love to control everything, the hierarchy is very visible and their leaders stay at power for decades. Uh, Xi Jinping recently confessed that during the last 10 years he met with Putin 42 times. I doubt he spoke with any of American presidents that much. Well, because in any democratic country, you know, presidents change. And in Russia, it is always Putin. But that will end soon. Like, subscribe and share if you want to see Putin in The Hague. So, uh, Russia tries to demonstrate that it has very good relations with China. And today, Russia is very dependent on China. Um, actually, we see that Xi Jinping understands that and there is one very vital difference between the way China and Russia see their future. Russia has accepted isolation and it openly speaks about the collective West as an enemy. And China tries to manipulate. They realize that more money are in the West, they need it for their growing economy, and they don't want to break all the connections. And I think the visit of Xi Jinping to San Francisco was actually to manifest that. Biden and Chinese leader managed to discuss a number of questions. It does not seem they agreed on all of them. They discussed environment, another proof dictators never care about environment. You see that in Putin's strategies and the way he erases nature and uh, terrorizes people with explosions on dams and uh, dangers on atomic power plants and other stuff. And China also don't care about environment at all. And many, many other things that dictators actually share about each other's opinions on the world. But this meeting was still important, even if we don't see any sensational uh, messages. Why? Because it is also a symbol. Where they meet, why they meet, and that they finally meet. Xi Jinping came to the US. They spoke with the American president and Russia pretended they don't see it. Recently, Putin traveled himself, or I better say one of the Putins traveled himself to China to talk. And of course, he is very much dependent on the mood of the Chinese leader on the supply because, of course, China does not openly support Russia, but at the same time, it does not condemn Russian aggression against Ukraine. And it goes without saying they supply them with different military equipment that they need with drones and other uh, stuff. And I'm sure such topics were touched upon on the conversation that they had in San Francisco. And finally, China and the US start talking about military to military um, issues, uh, which was frozen for a long period of time. And this accident with the spy balloon that took place in not far away future and all the like aggression and tension that exists between these authoritarian regimes and democratic regimes. They need some relief and Russia is not one of the parts in these conversations. And this is another important uh, symbol. 
Uh, Taiwan is one of the topics that bothers the United States and people of Ukraine. I know that I have many subscribers from Taiwan and your freedom and independence is vital for global peace. So please know that we stand with you and hopefully nothing bad will happen. But the result of Ukrainian uh, resistance, the result of Russian war in Ukraine will greatly influence the situation in Taiwan and all the other conflicts. Authoritarian terrorist regimes are very attentively observing us and we have to stay uh, united. This is actually very important for the future because like, we have decided somehow that everything is safe, we take our democracy and our life for granted. It's not like that. It is in constant danger and actually there are many, many, many uh, dictatorships living all around us and uh, we still like buy products, we travel, you watch Chinese or Russian vloggers and you think, oh, what a beautiful nature or something like that. They are dictatorship uh, and they cannot be our partners. We cannot partner with such people, but not to turn everything into the third world war. We do have to communicate and for Putin, Xi Jinping's visit to the US is definitely a warning signal because Putin is totally isolated. He cannot travel the world after this uh, decision of the International Criminal Court and he accepts everything China wants from him. Actually, let me know in the comments below, would you like to see a separate video on this very silent annexation of Russian Far East by Chinese businesses and uh, people who move from China to Russia and they even rename Russian cities in their maps. So I think um, if Putin was like a really, re forgive me, but I'm talking about Putin and my tongue does not want that. <laughs> so like, share and subscribe. <clears throat> uh, Putin does not mind that. He pretends to be this masculine leader that keeps everything under control, strong arm, people like that in Russia. But in reality, he accepts everything he does to this eastern parts of Russia and this low annexation. He does not have any other choice. And here we come to one of the most important questions that personally bothers me a lot. Why so many people in global politics believe that they need to keep Putin, they need to keep Russia as a potential ally against China because they um, are afraid of this confrontation in future and they do need Russia as this buffering zone. Putin is a puppet of Xi Jinping at the moment. He's totally dependent on his good mood, will, and he will do whatever Xi Jinping wants from him. And post-Putin Russia, imagine this beautiful post-Putin Russia, post-Putin world. So this post-Putin Russia will definitely be a better ally for the democratic world against China. And think about that. Uh, and let me know what do you think about that. Anyway, uh, we see that probably it is just the start of a number of talks that will be uh, held between President Biden and Xi Jinping. Uh, topics they touch are important, starting from environment, drugs, finishing with Taiwan and Israel Hazza. Uh, but we did not hear much about Ukraine, but I think some conversations are held um, not openly. And what is most important, we see that Xi Jinping is open to speak with Biden and at the certain moment, he can definitely choose something that is better for China and worse for Russia. Or at least they will not supply Russia with lethal weapons, which is also good and important for us as it saves more Ukrainian lives. Thank you so much for your support. Buy me coffees. I have one nearby and becoming my patrons. If you introduce yourself to our beautiful merch collection, subscribe to my Instagram threads and Twitter, join my Discord. All the links that you need are below this video. But most important, we have to stay united. Democracy is in danger, but we are strong together. Slava Ukraini!